last day in Bali. As much as I love the city, it's really not conducive to walking. There's really no sidewalk, and you can see how close the motorbikes are to the edge of the road. Where there's cars parked on the side of the non-existent sidewalk, and you only have that little space to squeeze between the car and the oncoming motorbike. This, this is some next level hotel resort. I mean, just feel like I'm in Tony Stark's house, you know, without all the robots. Um, this is my last full day in Bali, and a bunch of you guys when asked for recommendations, told me about a buffet that's in this hotel. This is the Mulia Hotel. Uh, the buffet is called the Cafe, and it's supposedly the best buffet in all of Bali. And well, that's why I'm here. You know, buffet. And that's probably the only reason I'll ever be in a, in a beautiful resort like this, it's, it's for the food. And again, like, I, I don't know what the buffet is like, but this is just, wow. I got high hopes. Let's go eat. This is probably the grandest staircase I've ever descended down upon for a buffet. This is massive. Pretty. They got this massive lavender dolphin in the front. So this is uh, where we're gonna be eating. This is the cafe. Shall we go in? Let's do it. Thank you. Definitely one of the most immaculate buffets I've ever been to. There's seven cooking stations. You got your Chinese, Japanese, you got some Italian. What I'm really excited about, and I, the one I cannot wait to show you guys, and the one I cannot wait to explore for myself, is the dessert room. I mean, take a look at this. That's just a preview, because oh, I, I never look forward to finishing my meal so much in my life so I can get onto the desserts. But as much as I am looking forward to the dessert, I'm gonna enjoy this process. So let's go round one. Let's just start with whatever's closest to me because I am just absolutely starving. This is the Thailand section. And I think, I think we're gonna get some pad, we can have some pad thai, right? I see some noodles, I see some seafood. I see the, I see the necessary spices. I also see my mortal enemy, the broccoli. Can I just ignore that for now? And there's a bunch of cooked dishes as well. Let me grab a plate and we can figure this thing out. Not pad thai, but pad yo, even better. So let me get some prawns. All right, I think I'm good. A little seafood pad thai So all this here is freshly cooked. And let me get a, grab a plate for some uh, the already made dishes. Wok fried crab with curry powder. Roasted duck. Oh yes, yes baby. Oh, I see, this is the skin part. Oh, nice, look at that fatty piece of duck. Heck yeah, with all that chili and garlic. Deep fried, this is the fried, this is the fried beef. Oh, I love this. Sun-dried beef with basil, crispy basil. Love this dish. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I got some pate you. This looks awesome. And I made myself a little papaya salad on the side. I want as spicy as I can get it. So, yeah, basically everything you can. Thank you. All my seafood is going into the water. Oh, man. Thank you. Fresh tum yum. Three of the items on my plate right now, well, actually, sorry, two are freshly cooked. One I kind of put together myself, and the other is the mixed dish. There's so much live cooking going on in this buffet. 
Um, and I haven't even got to the best part. After, oh man, I just keep anticipating the next round at this buffet because right after this, I'm going to a really cool place. I just gotta show you guys, but let me, let me just get through this without uh, the anticipation killing me. So anyway, I made this little papaya mango salad with shredded pork. I just threw everything together, I don't know. I know it's the ingredients and not me, but I felt I put together a really delicious salad. And the spice level is about a seven out of 10. So this is pretty perfect for my beginning bite at this buffet. Mm, this is gonna go really, really well with um, some of the savory items I'm eating, like the pate yo. Speaking of which, freshly made pate yo. Wow, I like go into a Thai restaurant. I would like it a bit spicier because I want the heat to burn through my mouth, but this is as tasty as you're gonna get at a buffet. Mm. Noodles, flavors, everything. That's on point. This actually will go really good with my papaya salad. I can't believe I've ordered this off a buffet station. Mm. That is just really, really sweet. You can taste the fire from the wok. You know that nice, like, really hot wok flavor that, that, that squeeze into the food when it's stir fry really quickly? That's all in here. My fresh tom yum soup. Oh, yeah. Some fish in here, some prawns some squid. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. I'm not in Thailand, but I know what a good bowl of tom yum tastes like. That's a good bowl of tom yum. So far, just like the other buffet I went to in Indonesia, everything is just quality. I gotta try some of these dishes. This is one of my favorite um, Thai dishes. It's fried beef with fried basil. And I love this dish in Thailand. Yeah, look at it, look at the little crispy basil. It's just like really flavorful beef jerky. It's a really intense beef flavor in this. I feel like the dishes I got, they sort of cross complement each other. The savory items, when you bite into it, you definitely want to chase it with a little citrus, like the tum yum. And they just really blend well. Mm, this is actually what I was really excited about, this duck. Look at that skin. Look at that juicy, fatty duck skin. That's what I'm really excited about. I'm so in love with this. I'm at a loss for words. I'm, I'm just stunned by the beautiful flavor of this duck. This is just incredibly good. Incredibly good. Not only is it juicy, a little fatty, the sauce they put on this. It's, it's a combo of sweet and sour, not overly sweet. Every bite you take, you're kind of mixing the sauce, fattiness of the duck, all that flavor. It's like, a food symphony performance in my mouth. The use of the sour element, the citrusy element, it, it's genius because, you know, duck is fatty. You want a little bit of that to cut through, to kind of balance it out. It is just done so incredibly brilliantly. I would order, I would order this dish at any restaurant. I would, and I could have it as much as I want here. This actually would be great with some rice as well. I love it when I go to buffets and I find like dishes that they make that just you know, you love and you, you, you wish like, I mean, it makes you think that you're actually sitting in a restaurant and you just ordered it. This is one of those dishes. Unbelievable. Just perfect in every single way. Man, I don't even know what to do after that. I gotta eat a crab that looks so good, but now all I can think about is the duck. Ugh, I gotta get a little messy here. Right, I think I got a claw that didn't have a lot of meat in there. This is like a Singapore chili crab. There's some eggs in here. It's pretty mild. Because the papaya salad I got is so so spicy. I'm not able to taste too much of the spicy flavor. The sauce is good. I, I think I just need a new claw. Um, but you know what? There's another section up there I'm so excited to get to. Plus, I need more duck. So um, I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna start round two. This, I, I didn't even see this whole grill section here. Hi, how you doing? So I can grill anything. I gotta have some clams. I gotta have some clams. Um, I would love some tuna. Can't wait, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so this much, my friend. And this seafood. Should I put any sauce on there sauce or anything? Right here. Right here, okay. Yes. What do you recommend? For the beef, barbecue. Yeah. Barbecue, sure. okay. And then for seafood. Some, some lemon. Some lemon, yes. For sure. 
All right, let's do it. Fresh seafood off the grill, right by the ocean. All you need, a little salt and pepper, a little lemon. I'm gonna definitely taste that because it just came off the grill. A little lamb chop. Oh, that's nice. That is so perfectly cooked. It's as tender and well as a lamb. Melt in my mouth tenderness. Perfect. Absolutely. Mm, perfect balance of fat and, and that lean meat as well in the lamb. Both the fish, just ridiculously tender. And again, perfectly cooked. Every single thing they do have. Perfect execution. I don't think I really had ever had steak off the grill at a buffet that actually tastes tender. I don't think that's ever happened until now. Both of these six. I know steak takes a lot of room in my stomach, but it was that good. All right, I, I'm only one station down. I gotta pick up, pick up the pace a little bit, but let's 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 see what's at the Chinese section. I never seen Korean barbecue at a buffet before, <laughs> but they got it here. Korean. Wait a minute. Is this Hanwu? Look at the marbling on this steak. That is beautiful marbling. Look at this. Oh, can I have some barbecue, please? Seriously, look at that. That is not low quality meat. That is some good quality stuff. I just want to taste a little bit because I don't want to fill myself up again. But can I, let me just do this. Really simple. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, I feel like it's not enough. Let me grab some other stuff and we'll go We'll go sit down. A little oxtail stew. Whoa, it's like a dumpling prawn. Oh, herbal soup. Wow. Thank you. Herbal soup. And this moves you on to the barbecue section. Uh, this is some, uh, basically in Chinese, this is bai ji, white chicken. Duck, let's pick out a fatty piece. Pork feet. Heck yeah. Okay, I think I got what I need. This round is the mixed meat round with a prawn dumpling and some herbal chicken soup. A lot of chicken is chicken soup. When an herbal soup is good, I feel better. Mmm. I <laughs> really good. Very herbly. Like, if you're a Chinese kid, you grew up around this flavor. And it's very nostalgic. It smells like my grandma's house. And we need to try this cut of beef. This is a piece with that beautiful marbling on it. Oh, that's shot. This is the closest thing. I've tasted at a buffet to Hanwoo Han Wu beef, or even the closest thing to Japanese wagon. This is probably the most marbled piece of beef I could ever get on a buffet. And it's not, I mean, obviously it's not as tender as an A5 steak, but this thing, look at this. See all that juice coming out of it? There's a lot of juice in here. You don't go on a buffet and think you're gonna find melting your mouth beef. It just doesn't happen. I never really happened in the past before for me. That's about as close as you can come. If nothing else, if I only ate this for the entire session of the buffet, I'd be really happy. No, I wish I had some of that papaya salad to kind of balance things off with. Thin sliced brisket, my favorite thing in a Korean barbecue. It's probably the best quality beef brisket I had. I mean, I don't know whether it's because like I can taste the flames in this thinly slices of meat, but it just, it's a perfect amount of meltiness and fat and beef flavor. This is just, God, the quality here is so good. Mm. That thing is so juicy. I'm like just shocked right now. I need this prawn fried dumpling. It was like two food items just merged together into a weird transformer. What a delicious transformer. It's like a grilled prawn dumpling. It's so simple when you say it. It's so simple and it makes sense when you taste it. <laughs> really good. You know what makes that even better is that, you know what makes that really good? Really, the quality of the prime. It's sweet. A little sweet, a little savory. Oh. Another piece of duck. Not, this is not my duck. You know, my duck is still over at the Thai food section, but I'm gonna taste this duck. It's good duck. Mm. Actually, it's really good duck. White chicken. I'm pretty authentic. This is the bulgogi, short rib. Well, I'm still kind of, my mind is still being blown by the steak and the ribeye slices. Every section in this place is really making me happy right now. Last day in Bali. This was a good choice. Of course, it's tender, it's delicious. What else is new, right? I love the pig feet. This is like one of my favorite things. Take some more sips of my soup so I can boo a little my body. If you guys don't know what that means, I'm, I'm trying to replenish 
the energy on my body by drinking this soup. This Mediterranean section, like I said, sear sirloin with wild rice. Sure. Chicken and raisin and almonds, of course. Grilled fish with salsa verde. Heck yeah. Pasta with pork. Sure. It's like I'm playing cast iron Jenga right now. This pasta bar looks great. I really, I can't. I mean, let's go, let's just go eat this first. I just wanted this because there's a lot of gravy in some of these dishes, so I wanted to try it. This is the chicken with raisin. Chicken and raisins, a couple of things you don't expect to go together. You don't want a food to grab when you put it in your mouth. It makes you smile. Like, you know, when you see a beautiful sunset or just a cute little puppy on the street. All right, maybe I shouldn't be talking about puppies and eating at the same time, but uh, this thing's got like a masala-esque flavoring. A little sweet, a little whiny. Definitely some wine in here. I haven't really had anything that's dry. And this is why I got this, because I knew some of these sauces and gravies can be really, really good. And I need something to do to wipe it. I'm not even sorry. This is a sirloin. I've been so impressed by the beef here. I mean, this one's been sitting under the buffet lamp of death a little bit, but look at this. So you're poking a little bit. See all the little holes I'm making? That's because the beef's are tender. Wow, deliciously tender sirloin. Mm, love the onion that's in here too. I think if this was like even more fresh, it'd be even better. Pasta with pork. I'm like eating bread, I'm eating pasta. I'm like breaking every single rule I have at this buffet. It's like just delicious macaroni and cheese with bits of pork. And this is the fish with the salsa verde. It's got a little pesto in here as well. The flavor of this is bomb. I love the little fried scallions to put in here. Pesto sauce. Love everything I got so far. Especially this. This thing is so good, it's making me eat bread at a buffet. And they do have like a full-on sashimi bar. Everything's made fresh. Of course, you guys know I don't really eat raw stuff, so kind of wasted on me. Um, what I want to do is this. I'm going to do one more round of some of my favorite stuff, and then I think we're gonna hit dessert, because Dad's just calling me right now. Again, don't eat too much, I crew for dessert. Thank you so much. Oh, this is the cheese nun. I gotta get some more of this duck. This is like my favorite thing on this buffet. Freshly grilled cheese nun. Look at this thing. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> That's a beautiful cheese pull. Dip that in a little condensed milk. That is tremendous. I love this country's use of um, sweets and cheese together so much. And this, you gotta get this when you come here. Mm. With condensed milk, this is an absolute bomb of a treat. Again, every single meat dish at this place, they cook it so well. I mean, look at this. Every single meat dish, it just breaks apart on contact with your fork. Just tender as all get out. Oh, I actually remember this, by the way. The curry. This is the Indonesian like shrimp with chili sauce, it looks like. Oh, I just love every single time I eat shrimp or prawn here. The meat is just so sweet. Everything is just so flavorful. And this duck might be one of the most glorious things you'll put in your mouth. Alright, so this was a really fun round. Let's change down to star. I think overall the savory items in this buffet is characterized by really well prepared, high quality ingredients. The, the meat is always cooked to perfection. It's I haven't had a really tough piece of meat on this buffet, which is really hard to say for most buffets. But truly, nothing I ate was, was too tough or too dry. I mean, I, I don't know how they were able to pull that off with like, you know, the buffet lamp of death overlooking everything. But they managed to do that. I think when I get my dessert, this needs to play a role. Because this thing dipped in anything sweet, it was remarkable. All right, you guys ready to go desserting? Let's go desserting. Don't be too shocked by this. So this whole thing here, where that gentleman is at is the wheel fortune of ice cream. This is all the ice cream toppings. 20 toppings you can put on your ice cream. The chocolate fountain, of course, that's a must. This is my favorite room right here, let me show you. This is all different types of dessert right here. It's all different types of dessert and it's pretty. And I'm gonna eat all of it. The dessert plates here are too small. I gotta go find another bigger plate. I'll be right back. Here we go. You can get cotton candy in here.
All right, I think I've reached the capacity of my plates so far. All right, you know what? Let, let's, let's not overdo it, because we need some ice cream. Thank you so much. And then let's put some toppings on this. Little pineapple, little green, little palm heart. Some of this, some of that. And let's see what's all around here. This is lapis legit. It says it's legit, so I'm gonna go for it. This looks like a multi-layered cake. That's traditional too, Kui Putu. I think the allure of the chocolate fountain no longer phases me. Mini donut, sure. I think we're good, I think we're ready. Wow, it's like I have a little dessert buffet on my table. I don't even know what half the stuff is, I just think it's really pretty. This is a pina cotta. Look at it, it's got a little pearl on top. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's creamy and crumbly. It's coffee flavored pina cotta. I like that it's not overly sweet. Oh. My ice cream isn't melting. I got a bunch of a bunch of flavors of ice cream, but oh man, chocolate brownie. Oh yes, please. I felt like I added some good toppings to this before it completely melts. I gotta get this thing involved. This is quite putu. It's a coconut dessert. I, I you know had many times here in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. This can go perfect with my ice cream. This dessert was the one I had in um, Jakarta. I'm about to do something. Please don't judge me. I just think those would be so good to make an ice cream sandwich with. Don't knock it till you try it. And yes, you should try it. The ice cream, there's so many little air pockets in this dessert and the ice cream just fills it. Like you're eating the creamiest, crispiest, fluffiest little ice cream wrap. I love these little crumbles um, with the mousse. It's really, really contrasting in the texture. Oh, coconut pudding. It's like, it's like a little mini glass of champagne. Mmm. It's like a little coconut explode in your mouth every time you bite down on some of this jelly. Mmm, it crumples so nicely. And it's super juicy, not overly sweet. That's fantastic. Wow, that's really bitter coffee. If you like coffee, you'll like this. This is the Quay Lapis Laguette. Quay's cakes, Lapis is the different layers. Um, and Laguette is kind of like the, the sweet flavor. So it's like a sweet, multi-layer cake. And it's, there's a ton of layers to this. Oh, nutty layer cake. This thing's got some substance. This is what I'm really, really excited about. It's like, a, like a sweet coconut soup. Oh, this is nice. It reminds me of um, of the sweet coconutty, uh, banana-y dessert from the Philippines. Actually, it reminds me almost exactly like that. I think of all the dessert, absolutely adore um, the coconut pudding. And also the sarabi, but with the ice cream added in. But in general, this is a fantastic buffet for a few reasons. One, like I mentioned, meat, probably the best I've had in any buffet I've been to, especially the beef. If you come here, 100% go get your steak grilled, head to the Korean barbecue section, get that beautifully marbled beef and get a plate of it. Then head back and get another plate of thinly sliced brisket. Then head to the Thai station, get a plate of dog, some papaya salad, a nice bowl of tom yum. Even if you don't eat anything else, and you still should because there's that whole room of desserts, you're gonna be really, really happy. And the other reason I love this buffet, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how buffets do this in Indonesia. I really don't. Total price for this buffet, 35 bucks. Now keep in mind, that's just a lunch buffet. Dinner buffet, there's more stuff and it's only 40 bucks. I don't know how these buffets stay in business. I really don't. Especially, you know, I just put a dent in here today. Um, but, <laughs> I mean, maybe come here before they wise up to it. But buffets in Indonesia, I think, are some of the best I've had in the world. And definitely the best quality and best value for your money that I've had anywhere. And guys, I'm coming back because they told me they actually have two more buffets I didn't know about. One's a dim sum buffet, one's a Sunday brunch. I'll definitely be back to tell you guys what those are like. Anyway, guys, as always, the location information for this place is listed for you in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. I had such a great time filming here. Until we eat again, see you later.